salvage it. Maybe fiber optic field trip or something. Who knows? Check. All right. See you on the other side. Yeah, I'll be here all week. Thank you. Huh? Guy Towers. Talkerson, come on, let's go. Say hello, people. How you doing? Yeah, My I like Guy Towers. To our show here. How many people are going to be playing the game? Just the one. So you're playing with yourself, huh? Cookie, please. Sorry. Cookie, watch Sorry. your mouth. Okay. So the other day, Helen talked to the host, and I pulled him aside. Oh yeah. Are you looking for a seven question tournament linked game or a cool project that? Uh, not buzzing, hit the letter B. B is in bubble wrap. God, I love that bubble wrap. Uh, this is in Hollywood. Just give him a little powder. 20 seconds. We got 20. Whoa, heads up. All right, when a question pops up, you gotta buzz in. Then you pick your answer on the screen and hit the right key on your keyboard. You follow me? Let's find me after the show. Okay, let's lose a desktop, please. Okay, and go to black. Okay, guy, you're back. All right, stand by. Here we go. Refreshing. Shut up, tuffies. Where real people eat. Ah. I mean, I'd probably go with uh, Cookie as my favorite host, but. Uh, I, I think it's one of those, there's no wrong answer. It's time for the show where high culture and pop culture collide. Woohoo! All right, how you doing? Nice to have you here. Oh, you're flying solo? All right, let's do it. Okay, okay, okay. Okie doke, give me a category. One! All right, let's see what we're doing here. Very emotional racers. A right answer will get you two G's for this question. Everything in place? Because here she comes. Because its color is considered to be unlucky in stock car racing, which car would you not want to drive in the Daytona 500? The Batmobile, Speed Racers Mach 5, the Ford Torino from Starskin Hutch, or the Mystery Machine from Scooby-Doo? I'm going to guess Starsky and Hutch. The red Torino? No, red's not unlucky. In fact, that car would be a babe magnet. Oh. And here's the right answer. In stock car racing, green is an unlucky color. So is riding around in a van with a hippie, a couple of preppies, a she-nerd, and a talking Great Dane. Okay, All right. pick a category. We got spirit, yes we do. We got spirit, how about two? And the category is throw down yeah. the gloves. And in our channel, we got a nickname for uh, Buzz. He's known as the Goofy okay, Goober. Let's assume for a minute that minute rice only takes one minute to cook. At one minute per batch, how many batches of minute rice could a hockey player make while in the penalty box for fighting? Two, five, ten, or fifteen? I think it'd be five. Fighting is a major penalty and therefore costs you five in the box. <laughs> But those five minutes never tasted so good. All right, come on. I know. I think I need a little something with the rice. Rice by itself is just kind of there, and that, that's it. It's how you swing it. The amount on the table is three grand. Okay, suppose that in baseball, everyone has to use the same size bat, except multi-sport stars. If you're given an extra inch of wood for each additional sport in which you gain national or international acclaim, which of these famous sluggers would have the biggest bat? Deion Sanders, Jim Thorpe, Bo Jackson, or Babe Zaharias? Huh. I think it'd be Thorpe. Jim Thorpe played baseball and football and was an Olympic track and field athlete, but he's not bringing you any gold today. Really? Here's what you should have guessed. Mildred Babe Didrikson Zaharias won various titles in baseball, golf, track and field, swimming, diving, figure skating, football, and basketball, and she shot exhibition pool. I think she also set a record for giving hernias to bat boys. Here's your bat, babe. Oof. Category time. What's it gonna hmm. be? Look at me. I got a four. Mm -hmm. Ouch. Here's your category. Joni loves hockey. Troy right, Stevens was a character. Riding on this one. Get ready to buzz, cause here it comes. 
Imagine that the TV series Happy Days was inspired by the life of legendary Toronto Maple Leaf Happy Day. Which of the following episodes would you not expect to see? Happy and Richie buy the Maple Leafs. Happy coaches five Stanley Cup Leaf teams. Chachi and Happy become Hall of Famers, or Happy and the Fonz become NHL refs. I don't know. You know what you could have picked? You could have picked this. He did just about everything else, but Happy Day was never an owner of the Maple Leafs. Ah. Uh. Now that I think about it, wasn't Happy the third owner of the restaurant after Arnold and Al? How about it? Hit me with the category. Here they come spinning out of the turn. It's question five. By a nose. And this category is the dark side of hockey. Okay, swing this one and I'll give you 2,000 bucks. Okay, listen, let's say that in the director's cut of Star Wars, the Rebellion and the Empire decide to settle their differences in a hockey game. Of course, Darth Vader and Luke Skywalker immediately throw down. Because Vader started the fight, he gets a game misconduct. However, the ref also slaps a minor on him. Which of these could be the reason? Vader's bigger than Luke, Luke's a goalie, Vader's wearing a face shield, or Luke's wearing white? Probably because he's a goalie? In a word? No! Oh. Well, in case you're curious about the correct answer... According to the rules of the NHL, if a player who's wearing a face shield instigates a fight, he'll be assessed an extra minor penalty. And switching oh. over to the dark side of the force carries a three-game suspension. Eh, right, I think on. it deserved more than three games. Uh-oh, press futz mitts grime board. It's time for a nigger glitch press crew. All right, now here's your category for this gibberish question. Why can't he I just mean, honestly, I'd probably just go with the... Uh, the I guess Cookie and Schmitty would be like 1-2. about 30 seconds to solve this puzzle, but I'll be taking a little bit of money away every second and a half. Here we go. Now tell me, with what macho phrase does this rhyme? Hell bum through the Zen ref bell. Hell bum through the Zef ref bell. Here's a little hint for you. It's a greeting. Welcome to... A greeting for a rookie you just eat. Okay, let's see what you got. Uh. Yeah. Nice greeting. Couldn't they just send over some daisies? Oh, yeah, they could have cooked we'll some rice or something. Tag Team Naked Skydiving, tonight at 7. The category is, let's talk about safe baseball. Okay, 2,000 bucks is coming your way if you get this one. Hang on tight, here we go. If a pitcher had to adhere to the same rules uh, as he does the with the which of the following yeah. would he have to do? Deliver without touching his rubber, touch his rubber gently after delivering, keep one foot on his rubber throughout delivery, or dust off his rubber before delivery. I think it would be three. Pitchers have to keep one foot in contact with the pitching rubber throughout their delivery. Let's hope he takes his cleats off first. No. Okay, pick a category. You can lead linebackers to culture, but you can't make the them think. Leading linebackers to culture. Okay, shouldn't be too tough. This question's gonna be worth a grand. Hope you're ready, because here's one coming at you. Let's pretend a bunch of NFL players are invited to an art show where the preferred attire is black. Based on the color of their helmets, which team's attendees will look out of place? Atlanta Falcons, Oakland Raiders, Jacksonville Jaguars, or Pittsburgh Steelers? I think it'd be the Jaguars. <laughs> Sorry, was that art? I was just trying to grab me some more of them cheese cubes. Oh. Anyone interested in the right answer? Here you go. The Oakland Raiders wear silver helmets. Oh, Looking silver. More out of place when they wear them to poetry readings. Category time. What's it gonna be? The German judge gives us nine. Here's the category: catwalk fights. Pop a right answer for this one. You got three thousand greenbacks. 
Say, you know that guy Mr. Blackwell who always comes out with the worst dressed list? If Mr. Blackwell decided to use modern boxing rules when judging fashion, which faux pas is least likely to get you on his disqualified list? Wearing red socks, appearing while unshaven, sporting a long bangs haircut, or donning tacky gloves? Let's take a look at the correct answer. Boxers are allowed to wear any color socks they please as long as they don't go too high. Although oh. red socks and boxer shorts might get you on Mr. Blackwell's list of top 10 biggest dorks. How about it? Hit me with the category. Okay. <laughs> Hang 10. The category is S-A-T-U-R-D-A-Y Fight. And this one's going to be worth $3,000. Okay, hang tight, put your finger on your buzzer, here's the question. If the Bay City Rollers were both a band and a roller derby team, which of these songs about scoring would appear on its album Rock and Roller Derby Love Letter? Ecstasy when you jam it to me, heart like a wedge, roll over and feel my love, or I spiked my love punch. Can you taste it? I think it would be jam. Jamming in roller derby is scoring. <laughs> Hello, Michigan. We're the base of the rollers, and we're going to keep the crap out of these guys. All right, that's 10 questions down. For 10 more, let's go on to round two. <laughs> all right, this is round two, and two is twice one, which means all the questions are double. Sounds good, huh? Okay, let's do it. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. We'll do Captain Hook. <laughs> the category is Captain Hook. And this one's 4,000 bucks for a right answer. Hey, you know that movie Kingpin where Woody Harrelson plays a one-handed bowler named Roy Munson? Well, yeah. if Roy Munson were to compete with a prosthesis in an event sanctioned by the American Bowling Congress, which of the following would he not have to provide for ABC officials? A description and model of his prosthesis, a driver's license, a special identification card, or a doctor's certificate? All right. I'm going to guess it's a driver's license. In order to use prosthetics in an ABC sanctioned tourney, you've got to provide all of these except a driver's license. <laughs> and maybe Woody Harrelson can buy Three some gibberish questions in a game in back to back streams. Oh, don't encourage it. I kind of hope the ghost episode kind of scared that out of there. The category behind this question is, am I my brother's goalkeeper? You get this question right, you pocket six grand. All right, get yourself set, it's time. If you took all the brothers in the Sutter family who played in the NHL and put them on the same team, which of the following families would give them an equally numbered opponent? The Righteous Brothers, the Bee Gees, the Jackson 5 Plus, Janet, or Don Henley? Do I dare say the Bee Gees? No, but the Bee Gees kind of sound like they were playing hockey without a cup. Woo! <sighs> Too bad you didn't pick this. Brian, Daryl, Dwayne, There are Brent, six Ryan, of them. Rich. That's six. Okay, I can see Dwayne on Michael and Brent on Jermaine, but who could possibly contain Tito? Category time. What's it going to be? Uh-oh, Tess Cust hits Dime Store. Gibberish question again. Once again, it's time for a ticklish Tesco. Yes, we are in the negatives. The category for this gibberish question. Who says there's no plot in these movies? Opening value for this gibberish question is 10,000 beans. Okay, now remember, you don't have a lot of time here, so the less time you take, the more money you make. Okay, pay attention and tell me, with what sports phrase does this rhyme? Now don't let that punctuation fool you. Sports phrase. Thy cross, Thy cross tits, tits skin, skin a bun. A bun. Thy cross tits get a bun. See if this helps. It's an excuse. An excuse for not catching the ball. How about uh, my bonus? Ice. Move? Don't lose sight of it. Go for it. Type in your answer and hit re There we go. I can't believe it. How in the hell could you miss that? Sorry, Skip. I crossed it, skin a bun. Yeah, but this is a night game, and we're in a dome. Oof. Okay, pick a category. Come on, Rev. Who's falling? 14. 14. Oh, sit down. 
Honey, uh, by the right. way, Wait, last we week we Thank had three chippers questions as well. If you get this one right, ready on the trigger? Pull. Which of the following children's games contains the name of a position in Australian football? Ghost in the Graveyard, Red Rover, Freeze Tag, or Duck Duck Goose? I think there was a rover. Rover is a position in Australian football. <laughs> and kids, if your rover is red, yeah. it's just a little ointment. Old chap. How about it? Hit me with the category. Love 15. The name of this category is Primetime Olympic. So we're already on a streak of two episodes with multiple gibber for three gibberish questions. So commercial these days. Which of these unholy alliances could actually happen because it involves the only sport listed that has not been discontinued? Baywatch motorboating, the home improvement hammer throw, Dr. Quinn Medicine Woman Golf, or the Friends Tug of War? I think it was the hammer throw. The hammer throw is still an Olympic event. <laughs> it's also what I plan to do the next time some handyman grunts at me. All right, come on, hit me. We need. 16, 16, 16, 16. The category is keep it under your salary cap. Hello, this one's worth six thousand dollars. So you feeling anxious? Me too. Let's go. If the NBA hired Super Agent David Falk to be their secret agent and spy on the players he represented during the 96 offseason, which of the following would you not catch him doing? Tapping Shaquille O'Neal's phones, going through Michael Jordan's garbage, disguising himself as Alonzo Mourning's butler, or taking infrared photos of Jawan Howard. Oh my god. Only thing I can think of is maybe it's Jordan? Let's see what a good player would have answered. Mr. Falk did not represent Shaq during the 96 free agent free-for-all. Yeah, he would never let Shaq make that damn genie movie. What was it? Kablooey? We don't talk about the genie movie. Okie doke, give me a category. And the category is quarterback of quarterbacks. And this one's going to be worth $2,000. Get your eyes focused on the screen. Here we go. If you're playing quarterback for the NFL team whose mascot is on the back of a U.S. quarter, for whom are you playing? Dallas, New York, Chicago, or Philadelphia? You're playing Philadelphia. The Eagle is on the back of a quarter, so the team you'd be playing for is the Philadelphia Eagles. <laughs> Though I doubt you'll last more than a quarter. <laughs> now with that offensive line, you're not. How about it? Hit me with the category. How many holes in golf? 18. Here's your category. Tune in, turn on, drop out, saddle up. Six thousand dollars is riding on this one. Okay, I'm hitting all the this. big Meeting ones. Cheech and Chong enter a horse in an equestrian event. In equestrian terms, if their horse has a roach, what have they just done? Castrated the horse, shaved the horse's neck, cropped the horse's tail, or done a bong hit with the horse? I think it's either two or three. One is just probably wrong, and four, no. Nah. Let's take a look at the big money answer. Shave the neck. in equestrian events is a shaved mane. Great mane, man. Category time. What's it going to be? Illegal use of the hands on question 19. Well, we've right, got maybe one question Merry left Christmas. to avoid it. Now get out of the way, old man. I'll pay you four thousand dollars if you get. It looks this one like right. the jinx you know, may be up. It, but I think Santa's getting a little senile. Santa has accidentally put your presents under the Christmas tree using a particular sporting event. If he's not careful, what might happen to him? He could get run over by a dragster. He could be pounced on by a gymnast. He could get chased by greyhounds, or he could take an arrow to the heart. Under the Christmas tree, use the particular sporting event. Greyhounds, maybe I don't know. And let's see the correct answer. This is not one of those games. Thankfully, Squall. Thankfully. If all this led to a sequel to that damn song, Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer. Okay, pick a category. Okay. And this category We have broken the gibberish curse. Christmas tea time. And if you can figure this one out, I can pay you 4,000 bucks. All right, pay attention. Here comes the question. 
If golf legend Sam Snead starred in a golfing Christmas carol, which of the following would haunt him as the ghost of tournaments never won? The PGA Seniors Championship, the U.S. Open, the Masters, or the British Open? I'm going to guess the Masters. You call that an answer, sports fan? No. This is the correct answer. U.S. Sam Open. Snead never won the U.S. Open. And there's absolutely no truth to that rumor that he named his putter Tiny Tim. All right, come on, hit me. We need a category. Okay. Where in the world are you from? Attack time. As soon as you see two words on the screen that go together, buzz in. Two thousand bucks if you're right, two thousand off if you're wrong. Every time you're wrong. And one more thing, not all matches are equal. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Where in the world are you from? Can you handle the attack? Let's find out. Good luck. from Nigeria, gotcha. Croatia, I think. The Netherlands? Yeah, you're from the Netherlands, okay. You're from West Germany. Yugoslavia? You're Australian. Mate? I think you're US. So I'm definitely jamming on that check attack. Let's find out how it helps your score. That's the eh, game. could have been better. Player, when I think of you, I think of superlatives like great, amazing, fabulous, sports trivia geek with no social life, stuff like that. But don't thank me, because the real truth is... You don't know. No, it wasn't that, it, okay, it wasn't sure, that good. Okay, everybody, uh, <laughs> Q commercials and Cookie, can you uh, find out what But the, uh, honestly, uh, sports is probably one of the, week, one of the uh, uh, games I'm a little bit weak on. Let me know, all right? Mark Raw, Earl Anthony, Ron Palombi Jr. Alright, uh, this concludes this episode of You Don't Know Jack Sports. If you like what you saw, be sure to um, hit that thumbs up button, leave a comment in the section below, and spread the word. This is Taken Swiss Gaming, and the... Ar